Hey guys, check this out. We got a new sharpener system from WorkSharp Sharpeners. This is called the Precision Adjust Knife Sharpener. And it looks like it's model WSBCHPAJ. Um, this is what the box looks like. This is what the unit looks like. And I'll show you how it works in a second. Um, this was about 50 or 60 bucks, I believe. So really cheap um, system. And I think it's basically a knockoff of the Wicked Edge, which is way more expensive. Um, I'm gonna show you what the unit looks like here and we'll kind of go through it. But um, first thoughts on it, this is kind of just first thoughts on it. This is a really cheap system. So if you're looking for something that's you know really cheap and you just wanna try to get a precision edge, um, this might work for you, but this is where you stick the knife right in here and then this piece sticks in here uh, right here and one of the problems is you see how much that moves when you when you're pushing down on it it moves quite a bit this is this rod and then it's a lot of magnet stuff so this just sticks in there by magnet this sticks up here by magnet um, it just goes right in you know literally right in right in there and then this is your your different stones they give you three different ones so you got 600, 320, and you got your fine ceramic. So ideally what you wanna do is you wanna start out with 300 or 320 um, right here. That's your diamond, 320. And you'll go up and down like this on your knife to try to get the, the edge. The problem is, that's one of the big problems. They don't give you enough stones. Um, so I've used the Wicked Jet Edge a lot. If you guys are looking for a really good system that costs a lot more money, check out this review on, on it that I've done. But um, the problem is they don't give you a lot of stones. So a typical knife that you may need to reprofile, 320 is just, I mean, a lot of the knives I start out with, I'm starting out with 100 grit. So if you only got a 320 here, you know, you might not even be able to get it ground down to the right amount. So this, in a sense, is only for touch-up type stuff. And even at that, you know, it's just, you know, it's just not that great. So I got this knife here. This is a knife from one of the big box stores. I think I got it at Lowe's. Um, it's called Lennox. And uh, again, this is one that I bought. It's kind of a cool, I just thought it looked kind of cool, but it dull, it came really, really dull. So I'm gonna try to demonstrate this. I, we'll see how this goes. I already did one knife, but we'll see how this, uh, how this one goes. So the idea is you gotta stick it in, um, you gotta stick it in this thing here, about like so. It's a little bit hard to do this on camera. And this is the, thing to tighten it so you want to get it as deep as you can get it this you probably wouldn't want to do a knife much bigger than this because it's not really designed for that and you'll see in a minute so you want to tighten this like ultra tight as tight as you can possibly get it because that's another thing it kind of wiggles and so I like a few of the ideas on this. It's just not that great. So then what I usually do, if you're just, you know, if you're simple, you're trying to get a simple process, you would take a marker like this and just stick the marker right down there. And be careful when you do this, you don't want to slip. But by doing it like this, you get both sides. So I just got, I just got both sides in one pass. Um, Okay, so we got that. Now what we need to do is we need to stick this piece in there and it doesn't matter if you started like that or like that because we're gonna eventually flip it. And what we need to do is we need to establish the angle. And so on this unit, you can see here, it has different degree marks. So 25, 30, 15. This is probably, well, we can just see. Let's just see where, where so you, you hold it like this and you wanna start at, at 320 and let's just see like what it's doing to the metal. So I'm gonna bring this up. I don't know how well you can see this. Maybe I'll maybe I'll zoom in to 2.5. So you can see I'm just touching the edge of that. So in this case what we want to do is we want to lower we want to lower that angle because we want to match it. So in order to lower it, let me zoom out. So in order to lower it we want to go the other way, like this, down. So now, let's do this again. 
and I'll show you again where we're at now. Now you can see we took off more of that marker. So that's about that's about right. And you can see towards the tip, that's right. So I think that's about where I'm gonna leave it. Um, and I'll I'll just I'll sharpen a little bit the way I would do it. Um, but the problem is, and I'll show you some of the problems here. As you go like this, you might not be able to see, but this handle jiggles. And when I push down, it's pushing this whole thing down. So, I mean, this is just, I mean, if you take your time like this, and this is a, this is actually a cheap knife, so it might work, might work better on this. But you want to match that angle. And you want to make sure that you're getting up towards the tip. And it's rough, it's really rough. So you just wanna keep getting this side. And you gotta be careful when you do this because if you slip and you go into the blade, you will hurt your hand very much. This part feels really cheap to me. It wiggles, it's really hard to keep on this flat part right here. Um, that's what I've noticed, like look at how easy it just, I'm, I'm almost off of it. And this piece here is moving down and around. So I'm just trying to show you how you would do this if you bought this. I got mine off of Amazon and I, I, I'm just not really, I'm not really that impressed, but like this knife, it looks like it's, it's working okay. I mean, <laughs> let's get this tip a little more. So the idea is once you get, and I'll show you this, I'll zoom in. Once you get all of that marker off of there, and I did, now we can flip it to the other side. You don't wanna do too much on one side. So you wanna put your hands like right here and pull out. And then be very careful, push it back in. So now we just flipped it and now we're gonna try the other, the other side. And you can see I'm, I'm starting to grind that marker off on this side. You can see how that's grinding right off. Right there I haven't done yet, but this side I did. This is how you use this type of system. And it's working not bad because this is such a cheap knife. So if you got these really, if you got these really cheap knives like this with cheap steel, I think it'll work better. So you just wanna keep doing this just like this. And this knife was, like I said, completely dull when I started. How do you know when, when you're done on a side? Well, that marker was our indicator. Once all of that is off, that's a pretty good, pretty good indication. You gotta be careful if you ever do that, brush away. Um, and then you can feel, you know, once you get good at this, you'll be able to feel if there's a burr forming on the other side. You gotta be careful when you do that. And there is, there's a little burr. I'm gonna do just a little bit more. Um, but the problem is, like, it moves so easy from side to side. That's one thing I don't like. It just, and when you move, you're wrecking that edge. So you gotta be really careful that when you do this, you're just grinding. You know, real easy. Not pushing too hard. I'm putting a little bit of pressure, but not too hard. So now, now we've completed the um, effort on this 320. So I'm going to just take this paper towel, clean that off, wipe that. Now we're gonna move to 600. And so you just twist it. It, it. There's no lock or anything, it just twists. It literally just twists. 
So now I got it on 600. I'm gonna pull this out. I'm gonna switch to the other side. Look at that thing just fell. That's okay. That's real easy. It just goes back up here. It's back on. That's just held by a magnet, so it it's really easily can come undone. So now I'm on 600, as you can see. And this is all real time. You know, there's no cutting. I'm not gonna cut this. So you're kind of seeing everything from start to finish. Same thing here. When I push down, look at how much this flexes. You might not be, I'll zoom in and just show you. Watch when I just push this. The whole thing flexes and I'm not pushing that hard. I mean, this is what you get for 50 bucks. You know, you'd probably be able to get this knife sharp, but it's really the bare, kind of the bare minimum. And it helps when you got these cheap steels because the steel comes right off. It would just take a lot longer on a more expensive knife. But if you take your time, and I've sharpened a lot of knives, so I'm, you know, I might be making this look kind of easy, but it does want to, that's the one thing I notice. It, this part here seems really cheap, and I wish they had more stones and variety, but maybe they'll come out with more later. I don't know. I suppose there's only so much they can give you for 50 bucks. Okay, that side's done. I can just tell that side's done. Flip it around. Now we're on to the next side here. I'm going to just wipe that. Same thing. Let's go real easy. And I kind of move this thing a little bit just so I can have a little bit better angle for myself. And I'm holding right here because this thing kind of, look at how it wants to move and all that. So you kind of want to hold it. I mean, if you're on a limited budget, which pretty much all of us are, this might be an okay option. I mean, you'll have to see how you like it. I, My first knife, I didn't like it. This one seems like it's going a little bit better. I don't like how it stuff doesn't lock into place a little bit better. But I don't like how that thing wants to roll from side to side, but... Seems like it's a different part of this paper towel. It seems like it's working a little better. Be very careful when you wipe. Now the knife, knife is getting really sharp. Okay, so now we're gonna flip the knife again. We're almost done on this deal. Now we're gonna go to the ceramic stone right here. Really smooth. And so same thing, you wanna just set that, and this is the last stage, and you wanna go nice and easy strokes. If you flip this from side to side, you're gonna probably dull the, the whole thing. So you wanna go really easy. And you can almost tell it's getting a little bit of a mirror, not, I mean, it's not going to get a full mirror because, you know, this doesn't have, ceramic isn't that, you know, high of a diamond, but it's, it's doing okay. I can tell it's smooth. I'll zoom in just 
just so you can see the edge a little better. I don't know. I don't know how much that's going to show up. Once you do that, I'm hardly pushing at all. I mean, literally, hardly pushing. I'm just going real gently. And it's like, now there's nothing. You can tell I got this completely the way it needs to be because it's just, it's effortlessly moving. So now in that case, I'm gonna go one more on the other side real carefully. And I'm just gonna go real gently on this side, like real gently. That is it. I, we'll see. We'll see how sharp this is. Just a second. Now I'm gonna put that thing so tight it's hard to undo it. All right. Let's see how sharp this is. You can even see like I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a little bit of a a mirror on that. See that? Got it pretty sharp. And you can take like some of that citrus spray or something and get the rest of that marker off. So let's see. Let's see if this puppy can cut here. Oh yeah. <laughs> pretty good. Um Definitely, definitely sharp. So, show you my arm. <laughs> Jeez. Um, worked pretty good on this knife. And then this knife actually comes with a nice um, sheath here. So that's kind of nice. I guess, <laughs> you know, it's for 50 bucks, 50, 60 bucks, this isn't bad. Um, there's other options out there if you're looking for other options. One of them is the Lansky, and I actually have a, a set of Lanskys right here. Again, I'm not, I'm not partial to any. What I like about Lansky, it uses the same concept, right? You have a thing like this, and you put the knife you know, in this and tighten it, and then you have your different angles here. Um, this you can get a little bit more precise with your angles right here. This is a little quicker to twist it, but you only have three stones. With Lansky, they have all different kinds. And I think Lansky's diamonds are a little bit better. Uh, but this system is a little bit more money, you know, for the Lanskys. They have, you know, quite a few. And this is actually another, this was one of the ones I started out with was Lansky. Um, I mean, again, you have all these different ones. Like with Lansky, you can even get leather. Um, you know, they have leather, they have ceramic, and, you know, all these other ones. So there's a lot, of, they have a sapphire one. This one here, the reason I'm showing you Lansky is because they're fairly comparable. You know, if if you were to uh, buy that one or this WorkSharp, you know, it's fairly comparable. I don't know, my end result, you guys, if you're looking for something, I mean, if you don't have a lot of money, this is a good option to get a, a uh, fairly precision type sharpener. You just saw me do a knife from start to finish, no cuts. And it wasn't a, this was not a, um, you know, like a Benchmade or something like that, but it would have done the Benchmade. It would have just taken longer. Uh, but I can tell you that knife is ultra razor sharp and we didn't mess the edge up, you know, didn't mess that edge up at all. It did a pretty good job. If I strapped it, it would even get a little bit more sharp. Um, but it did a pretty good job, but this is a fairly soft steel. So it will take longer if you're doing, you know, another um, little bit, you know, more high-end knife. So I don't know. I mean, if you have the money, get the Wicked Edge because, it, you know, <laughs> I, I prefer the Wicked Edge. Going from the Wicked Edge to this is, 
I mean, there's no comparison. You get so many more stones. It's There's no give. There's no rolling. There's none of that. Um, it's a lot smoother, but it's a lot more money. I mean, you, you might spend $1,000 on the Wicked Edge sharpening. So in the end, guys, I don't know what happened to my video. It got cut off. I think I made it too long. But in the end, there's some good um, reasons why you would want to buy this. The cost is right. It's not going to break the bank. If you want a really good one, you can buy the Wicked Edge. That's a lot more money, but it's a lot more durable. And then the Lansky is another option if you're looking for you know, a similar setup with a few more stones and stuff. So I'm, I'm, you know, to me, this is kind of cheap kind of crap. A lot of it's plastic and magnets, but it worked. I mean, I was able to get a really sharp edge on this knife and you guys will be able to, too, with a little bit of practice, you'll be able to get a sharp edge and it won't mess it up. You'll have a great quality uh, blade. So for the price, I mean, it's something to, you know, if you're having trouble sharpening knives, this is one option because you get a couple diamonds. Just know, you know, you only go, you only get 320 here, and that's not very much, you know, as far as grit goes. So that's pretty soft. So when you have a hard knife like a Benchmade and you're starting fresh, you might need more like a hundred. Um, I mentioned that earlier, but you got to keep that in mind because if you get this thinking you're going to be able to do a massive reprofile on a very hard steel, it's probably not going to do a great job. Whereas the Lansky, if we open that up, this has extra coarse diamonds. So like this is, you know, really coarse. Like I'll zoom in on that. I mean, this is a really coarse diamond that can easily break down anything versus 320. And I'll just show you the difference here. I mean, this is the difference. You know, one is extremely coarse. The other is, and this is brand new. <laughs> you know, this one is as low as it goes. Whereas with Lansky, you get this these other ones. So, I mean, it's something you really got to keep in mind. Because if you're trying to break it down, you're just not going to be able to do it. So, anyway, if you haven't hit already, hit the subscribe button, guys. I'm coming out with lots of new videos. I'm going to do a lot of sharpening stuff. Um, I just saw this come on the market. I thought it looked really cool. And I think it'll be good for some people, but you got to know what the limitations are. So if you're expecting, you know, unbelievable results, you're probably not going to get it. But if you're looking for something that you just want to touch up knives and you want to take your time, this might be a good option for you. But just, you know, beware of some of the things I mentioned earlier. All right. Thanks, guys. Take it easy. Have a good one. Bye.